Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am going back to school shopping. This is like my favorite time of the year when stores come out with all their fun back to school and classroom things. And I just love going and looking at all the new things that they come out with. This year is going to be my 11th year of teaching, which is so crazy. I cannot even believe it's been 11 years, but I don't need a ton of new stuff. I already have have lots of stuff for my classroom. However, I always just love going and checking it all out and it just inspires me and gets me super excited for the year. If you are new here, my name is Molly Malloy and I am a fifth grade teacher down in Southern California. You can also follow along with me on Instagram at Lessons with Laughter where I share about my classroom library, organization, book recommendations, and so much more. I am also super excited because this video is actually a collaboration with my sweet friend Montana over at Teaching and Uplifting. I absolutely adore her. We connected over the summer through Instagram and I just love everything that she posts. She has such a cute classroom and her sense of style is amazing and she makes the cutest stickers for Instagram stories which I have been absolutely loving recently. Montana is a fourth grade teacher in Arlington, Virginia and I think you will love her too. So after you watch this video, make sure you head over and watch hers as well. She is also doing a back to school shopping style video. I will link her video as well as her channel and her Instagram account in the comments below. Okay, so the two stores that I love going to for back to school shopping are Target and Michael's. I also love going to Ikea, but I know their lines are insane right now, so I'll probably save that for another day. All right, let's go shopping. Okay, first things first, these dry erase pockets are amazing and they are only $1. I actually have a bunch of these that I got online or from somewhere else, but these ones are a much better deal and look at all those colors. I usually use makeup remover pads from the Dollar Tree for my students as whiteboard erasers, but these ones are super cute and they even have these ones that go on your fingers. I love doing art projects with my students and these oil pastels look like they could be good. I definitely would want to try them out first though. And how cute is this first day of school sign? When you flip it over, it also doubles as the last day of school sign, which is so perfect. They also have this fun apple like chalkboard one that you could use. That's also first and last day. And then look, a fun lettering and calligraphy book. This one, I thought it would have a little bit more, but it still could be super cute for students who are interested in like a lunchtime activity. I love Target's blank books, but how cute are these ones with the steam covers? So cute, I can see students taking like lab notes in here or recording ideas from like if you have steam time in your classroom, these would be perfect for that. And then back here, these are the type of blank books that I get and use with my students a lot. I don't have these specific ones with the crayon color, but they are perfect because they come in a pack of eight for $3. They also have some super cute name tag ideas. I have my own that I created years ago that are actually kind of similar to these ones. Um, but if you don't want to like print, laminate, and cut, you can always just buy some from here to use that you just have to write your students' names on. I am in love with these fraction pencils. My friend Kim from Elementary in the Mitten just shared about these in one of her recent YouTube videos. And I just think those would be perfect for math and fun with my students. And then look at these cute pencils too. They have lots of fun pencils. I like to have just special pencils like this to give out to my students just kind of randomly for fun gifts or things like that. It's just kind of fun to have a little stock of different ones. These reward certificates are super cute too. They seem more like an end of the year kind of thing. I actually don't really give out 
just end of the year rewards, but these ones are super cute. So I definitely could consider doing something like that for next year. These activity cubes are dry erase, so I can see them being used for so many different things. Look how stinking cute these magnets are. I'm getting these for my daughter. I just am obsessed with these. And then these little erasers, I've actually never gotten these before, or at least not like recently, but I'm kind of thinking about getting some different ones and using them as rewards this year. I think that my fifth graders will actually really like them because they love little things like these. I wasn't sure what you would really use these blocks for when I first picked them up, but look at how cool you could totally use them for math. I'm thinking they would be really cool to do something with like a fr equivalent fractions with them. I don't know. Still thinking of ideas, but super fun. Over here are just some cute little like hanging things for your room or for your door handle, I'm guessing. Um, these are kind of fun. And then borders. I know a lot of people are obsessed with the Target borders. So these are some cute options. Okay, I headed upstairs to the actual like back to school supply section. I don't usually go to the store, so it's actually laid out a little bit different than normal. Oh my goodness, look at these folders and notebooks. I love all the fun like rainbowy pastel colors this year. They're so cute. This is the locker decorating area. They have so many fun magnetic different little things. These wooden bins would be fun for to put on your whiteboard with like expo markers or things like that. And I think this is like my favorite section of the back to school supplies because I love these markers. I love all the different colors. I usually at the beginning of every year buy a couple packs of these so my students can share them like by table group or things like that. Of course this year I won't be doing that but I love these markers. Another super fun section, the post-it section. These mini easel pads look so fun. I used to always use the larger ones and love them. If you are looking for a teacher planner, this is a cute option. I know a lot of people who use the happy planner and love it. My Target does not look like they are all the way stocked for back to school season yet. However, over in this section, there are some cool new Astro Brights products. Um, these months of the year are fun and days of the week. And then look at how cool these are. Oh my gosh, how fun would that be to send something like this home to parents? I love it and super funny as well. I'm obsessed with this binder. I don't even need a binder, but it's so beautiful that I am getting it. And then I love notebooks. I always love looking through the notebook section at all the different options. Look at the gold on these ones. It's so pretty. Okay, I headed downstairs to look at the notebook section that's there like year round. And I love all the fun like rainbow colors and the gold. This one actually looks like it goes with the notebooks from the back to school section. So cute. Look at all the different options. I love them. And then this one right here is my favorite. And then last target stop. If you know me, you know I have been obsessed with these lately. Montana, who I am collaborating with on this video, shared them in her Insta stories like a couple weeks ago and I have been eating them I think ever since. Okay, next stop is Michael's. Look at that, yay, for the first day sign. I don't know if you saw it, but that's like totally something that I would say. They have all their cute back to school stuff up at the very front of the store. I love all these little things. I don't know that I'd necessarily buy any of these things right now, especially this year because I won't have a lot of like countertop space for them but they are super cute. I love all the bright colors that they have. These like totally go with my whole like bright classroom theme. 
so many random <laughs> different things but look at they also have mini erasers here there's actually like a little bit bigger than the target ones but super fun if i do them as rewards this year which i think i'm going to these will be perfect this is a fun clipboard i think it has paper in it but i don't know i can't open it <laughs> and then these are super similar to target's blank books i don't know if they're the same size or not but like same idea Okay, let's talk about borders. So these are actually the borders that I've used in my classroom for the past few years. I do white and black since my bulletin boards are so bright and colorful. And I just like layer them so that they just kind of stand out a little bit more. And then I also love the texture of them. Okay, this is another one of my favorite aisles because it's all these storage things. I love this rainbow organizer. I actually have it, but it's like the smaller one, not the 12 by 12. I don't know what size mine is, but I love it so much. And I kind of want to get the 12 by 12 one too. And then these carts are so amazing. I actually have two carts like this in my classroom. One's from Ikea though, and the other one I got from a friend, but I love all these fun colors so much. And then another question I got asked recently was what type of paper I use with my Cricut to cut things out, and this is it. So this is the cardstock paper that I use. It just comes in a nice big pack, and then they have white also. And then they also have some other fun colors um, I don't just use it for printing on my Cricut or cutting things on my Cricut. I will use it just for other like random things too. I am in love with these stickers. Okay, I'm going to flip through them just so you can see some of the different ones, but I love the colors. These would be perfect for your teacher planner and I love the gold on them as well. This one's a super fun pack too. I don't know what I would use all of them for, but they're so cute. So a few different planner options that they have at Michael's. This one is by Recollections. And so it is also, oh my gosh, I love this page. Wake up, teach stuff and be awesome. <laughs> um, but it is like super just neat layout. I love the colors. Um, I don't know if I love the lines on the planning pages. Here's another version of the Happy Planner. I think it's similar to the one that I saw at Target. Maybe just a different color cover. Um, not entirely sure, but another super fun layout. This one's a little bit more like, it's got some more design to it. See, I still don't love those like lined pages on the planner, but I do like some of the other pages in here. And then it's nice to have a checklist. I don't use it all the time, but it's nice to have one for when I do. And then here's just some planner accessories. They're all 50% off right now, I guess, which is nice. Keep going, you are awesome. That's cute. I love the rainbow colored pencils on these as well. And then I am obsessed obsessed with this box. Look at how fun this is. I don't even know what I would do with it, but it's super fun. They have lots of just fun, bright colored ones. You got this and they just kind of open up. I think they're like a magnetic cult, um, lid thing. I love this one too. I kind of just want to use the top as like a poster to hang in my room. But yeah, lots of fun box and bin designs. Hi, good. How are you? Doing well. What can I make for you? Can I get a venti pink drink, please? Anything else? That's it. Yeah, thank awesome. You. Thank you. Hello. So today is Wednesday, and I just picked up a pink drink from Starbucks. 
Now I'm going to go out. I'm heading to one more store, uh, TJ Maxx and Home Goods. We have like a dual store here, so it's both stores in one, which is so cool. I am going to go there though to look for a rewards, like one of those Ray Dunn rewards jars. I'm probably not gonna find it, but my friend Kim at Elementary in the Mitten was just sharing hers with me, and she's filling it with all these mini erasers for students, and I just thought that was such a fun idea so I'm gonna go there and keep my fingers crossed that maybe I'll be able to find that or find something else fun while I'm there okay this is all they have so no rewards jar today but look at this fun section. This is another place that I love to get notebooks because they are always on a good sale. Here's a cute paper pad again with the gold. I love it. There's a fun like dog one too. I don't know, there's a whole bunch of them in that pile. Um, and then these ones are just kind of sitting out, but I love this notepad as well for like a little to-do list thing. And then these, floral like this floral pattern is super cute and then i have never used these markers before but the colors look amazing i kind of want to try them out um they'd also be cute just to be on a desk uh color pencils gel pens so all kinds of fun writing things and then these are like scented ones which are also super fun and here's some fun redone teacher notepads. My TJ Maxx slash home goods trip was not super successful. There were some super cute notebooks and notepads, but I didn't want to wait in line just for like one thing. So I left empty handed, but that's okay. I also didn't get to show you. I usually stock up on a bunch of thank you cards from Home Goods because they have them for super cheap and they're usually really, really cute. But I did not see any today. Like I mentioned, I don't go to this one very often. I usually go to just like a straight Home Goods store. And so this one I think was a little bit smaller than when it's like Home Goods on its own. So I'll have to go pick some up at a regular Home Goods store later on. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Don't forget to head over to my friend Montana's channel so that you can watch her back to school shopping video as well. I will link her video and her channel and her Instagram account all down in the description box below. I will see you next time. Bye!